Hi everybody from TechCronos and welcome to this quick focus on the updates uh, for the uh, Sony Xperia Double Z to Jelly Bean version 4.2.2. So let's start from the beginning and what uh, what else what if not the lock screen. Here we have as I told you Jelly Bean 4.2.2 so we have finally the widget on the home lock screen. As you can see we can add a new widget this one is dashboard widget and we even have the quick settings for the camera of course but as you uh, may so we don't have any more the uh, settings for what concern the music player but don't worry if you just unlock the device and you have the same gesture for the previous Jelly Bean version to unlock the device if you start playing any kind of music and you just lock the screen you will see finally that we have the uh, quick control for the music so it just it does appear just when you start playing music so you don't have any more the quick uh, you know uh, control for music always visible okay so this is for what concern of course the lock screen here, as you can see, we have the main interface, which is quite different. We have now the tablet interface, so we don't have the tablet interface anymore. This, to me, it's a very, you know, big. It's a very big downside, and I will tell you why in a few seconds. Because we have now two uh, bars, so we have more wasted space, both for the navigation bar and for the notification bar here. Moreover, as you may see, it's not that easy, you know, to manage such a big tablet. I mean, 10.1 inches tablet when holding it with two hands and having the, you know, navigation button in the middle of the screen. This is really terrible. I don't know who, you know, who the hell thought about this uh, interface for a 10.1 inches device. I mean this is not suitable for such a big screen maybe it could be you know more or less usable on 7 inch screen but not on 10 inch screen so as you may see we have now the tablet interface but we even gain a little bit here which is the notification bar and we have finally the quick toggle for what concerns settings we can even of course decide what kind of toggle to you know put inside the notification bar we have here the quick settings we can decide what to use and what not to use and even decide the you know position on one toggle on respect to another so this is a very nice addiction for concern this new updates to Jelbean 4.2.2 but once more we have two more bar more wasted well wasted space I do remind you that with the tablet interface you just have the navigation bar here on the bottom and we have to we have together the navigation uh, button on the left side while the quick settings were just on the right side together with the clock and so on but on the previous you know jelly bean version you could not decide what kind of toggle uh, have in the notification area so these are more or less the third things that you can see Moreover, having just the navigation bar here on the bottom with the navigation button in the middle, as you can see, we don't have any more the quick, uh, you know, shortcut for what concerns the remote control as well as mini app. Don't worry, they still here. They just been hidden here inside the multitasking menu. As you can see, we have the recently opened app that we can close just with a swipe, and we have here the mini app. We can even press this small arrow here on the left, as you may see, hopefully, yes. If we press it, we have the whole mini applet view. And we can even add, as you can see, I've been adding some, you know, uh, widget like Falcon Pro, for instance. So we just have to press the plus button here, decide whether to go into the Play Store or, uh, you know, add some widget as mini app. So if I select, for instance, Falcon Pro, you can, I can just move it around wherever I want and you know if I just start using something else the 
you know Falcon Pro widget is always here as mini app this is really really nice to me so the mini app here now are into the multitasking menu and here we can find once more the remote control quick shortcut so this will concern mini app of course we have finally the integration with the my xperia service if we go directly into the xperia menu we can see the we have my xperia settings i won't show you directly the my xperia settings course there are all my emails set up and you know for privacy reason but selecting my xperia just have here on the right a quick toggle to select on or off moreover if you go directly into the security settings and you get into the device administrators now you can see that we have my xperia set up so just to remind you a quickly reminder my xperia is nothing but a service like find my iphone on ios or the recently device manager or android that let you find your device in this case your xperia device and decide to you know make it a uh, uh, beep louder or you can even lock it or you can even delete the delete data remotely so this is my Xperia service we have now a small reminder where we open up the latches covering the micro USB slot for instance or the uh, here the headphone jack whenever we unplug the headphones or we unplug the power cord we have a quick reminder telling us that we have to close uh, securely the latches in order to guarantee the water resistance feature of this Xperia Tablet Z. We can even of course completely disable the warning so we won't have this warning anymore. So these are more or less all the you know updates introduced with this new Jelly Bean version 4.2.2 together with some few stuff you know coming from uh, Jelly Bean itself I mean version 4.2.2 like the multi-user menu here that let us add new user to our tablet or even for instance the daydream settings here so these are more or less the all the new stuff coming from this update I mean the camera interface is nothing new even the camera performance didn't you know got better with this update Power Concern Music and Gallery, we have uh, new apps, but they are just separate from the Jelly Bean update. So that's all for what concerns the uh, new stuff coming. And just one, you know, thanks. I don't understand why Google decided to go for this fabulous interface on such a big screen. I mean, of course, even the Nexus 10 has the same tablet interface, which is to me really a suicide with such a big screen. Just give a look. And I have quite a big hands, but this is not really comfortable. I mean, using this device and having to stretch your thumb to reach the home button. Terrible. So, once more, these are all the stuff, new stuff coming for this uh, update version 4.2.2. Point two, sorry, on the Science Pia Tablet C. What's more, thanks for watching and bye from Technost.